There are 73 elevators in the Empire State Building, but my pal here said he knew a shortcut to the top. Ah, not so tight! Ah, that's better. I guess I should have just taken the stairway. It's only 1,872 steps. But no matter what route you take, getting to the top of America's most iconic skyscraper is a cinch compared to getting to the real facts. Here's the story we all know. In 1930, construction begins on what will be the tallest skyscraper in the world. Soon, the projected budget soars as high as the building, and the hazards to workers are so great that one dies for each of the 103 floors completed. Once the gleaming tower is finished, it's the most popular workplace in Manhattan. A big reason is the fire prevention system, so advanced that a major blaze could never break out. The only real danger is on the sidewalk below, because if a penny tossed from the observation deck plunks you on the head, you're on your way to the morgue. Luckily, that's just an urban legend. A penny thrown from the Empire State Building absolutely could not injure anyone. There have been many people who have actually done scientific experiments to disprove this. A penny just can't get going that fast when you drop it because it's this flat thing that is going to run into friction with the air. A penny dropped from the observation tower might fall 25 miles per hour. Tops. That and the fact that it weighs just two grams make it far from a lethal weapon. You'd feel it, I suppose, if you were at the bottom of the building, but you'd probably just go, what was that? It's not anything that's ever going to kill you. 